Hello everybody, welcome to Monday Night Claw. I'm Jimmy Ventura and with me is not Gorilla Metzo, but after fresh from his horrific attack, it is Elkmean. Hello. Hello. Hello, thanks for... Oh, just a bit. You know. <laughs> it was rough. But here we are, in uh, this arena. <laughs> yeah, somewhere in America, presumably. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> the only audience we have. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, God. Right, so the first match oh. is Crusher versus Marcel. We don't have Gorilla Med, so he couldn't be here with us today. He has, he, he has you know, d taken some time off to go to New York. But, um, you know, we've got the replacement help me after that horrific injury he's just taken from uh, from Moridam, wasn't it? Um, we don't know what's happening there, whether Moridam is going to be facing charges or whatever, but uh, we're making up for the lack of Gorilla with this amazing match between Crusher and Marcel. Let's get straight to it. Oh, everybody's been waiting for this match. It's, yeah, truly exciting times for this one. I'm glad I can commentate, to be honest with you. Uh, oh, what the hell? Oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, chimp. <laughs> chimp. Chimp getting laid down there. Oh boy. If there's any time it's going to be useful, it's going to be in the time when it doesn't matter in this backstage ball. <laughs> All due respect to my tag partner, just being a bit one sided our showings of late. <laughs> Not bitter. <laughs> yeah, well, look, he is. I mean, it was incredible. I mean, to be fair, to be fair to uh, Elf, Elf was the guy who attacked Moridam <laughs> to try and disrupt their tag match against us hats. Um, oh my oh, yeah. god, certainly got got what he was looking for there from Moradam, and then Cocky went on to beat Das Hats 1 versus 2, unbelievable performance, and now uh, Chimp is looking for some measure of revenge, probably. But, uh, you Please know. send him to send him to the ICU here, um, <laughs> obviously it's a family, family friendly show and all, but let's be honest with ourselves, Chimp, do your work, son. <laughs> Not better. <laughs> wow, the camera's uh, having some issues here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're quick on the uh, quick on the camera swaps, though, aren't they? The production. Yeah, it's really good. Really good to see. Quick reflexes. <laughs> reflexes of a dead cat. Yeah. Well, it's sort of a shame we didn't have the reflexes to hit the breaker bug, so I didn't get electrocuted, but... <laughs> can't have it all. Nope. Oh, a oh. nice move there from Chimp. Laying the heart. <laughs> Hashtag no hate. <laughs> Hashtag no hate, indeed. <laughs> I'm finding it hard to watch this. You find really it hard difficult. To watch it? Yep, what? nope, there we go, there we go. That's out of shot. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, the electrical box there. No. Not good for me to see that. Oh, right. I <laughs> get it. <laughs> was shocking last week what happened. I was viciously attacked. I mean, you were the one who attacked him, Al. I mean, we well, all, we you all know. saw it. <laughs> you know. Tomatoes, tomatoes, you know. <laughs> Hello, Flicky. There's Jim here. What, what, what's in the briefcase, do you think, there, Jim? Uh, maybe some kind of contract with, uh, you know, just out of shot, I believe, there is Triple H stood behind that desk, and I think he's got a contract for some JFW superstar, but um, I'm sure they won't be tempted away by double double E, JFW far superior. No, truly, yeah. Oh, okay. get oh, fucked, no. you little, <laughs> little orange monkey bastard. <laughs> that's, that's a fair assessment of what happened there. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh my God! You might get a huge move there, yeah. You might be getting somebody joining you in your uh, ICU bed soon. <laughs> I'm off sick at the moment. I get some money. Oh, oh, good night. Oh, good night, chimp. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you just you just hate to see it. Absolutely savage beat down there from Cocky. I mean, it's not surprising he did beat the tag team champs in a two versus one handicap match. No problem there seeing off Elmine. 
I'm sitting <laughs> off chimp there, not, not me. Seeing no, off. I'd have slapped him about, let's chimp. be honest. Yeah, sorry, I misspoke. Right, up next we've got an Extreme Rules Extreme Elimination match. We've got Unseen Walker, we've got Shawnee 18, the new improved Shawnee. Um, he's had a makeover. Uh, yes, yeah. Dave! And Calcium Kaz. Absolutely glorious. Shaping up to be a, a good match here. We've got some real bangers in the in the arena there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Calcium especially. <laughs> he is well known as a, yes, yeah. a mid-tier banger. <laughs> <laughs> the middest of tiers. A healthy dose of bang. <laughs> Shawnee there, of course, lowering himself. You know, Shawnee being a top tier player. He is a top tier so chess man, it. isn't he? He is a chess man as well, yeah. There's a, there's a few of you that play chess. Blood boulders. Yeah. Right. Now, here we go. Speaking of which, here is the top tier. He is the most dangerous, yeah, Calcium is the most dangerous man in the JFW. That's much better than mid-tier banger. I don't want to piss off Calcium. <laughs> it's alright, it's, it's all friendly Jake's so clean, mate. I'm sure he's going to take offense, yeah. nah, I'd hope not. Right. If he doesn't, let us know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's sparking us out. <laughs> we will have the punch-out meme event, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Yep, with that I'm sure. There is Shawnee. Here we go, got Shawnee. Yeah. Two pairs of Beats there. <laughs> Not officially sponsored by Beats, but he's wearing the two for the exposure to see if they'll send him an extra pair. <laughs> he is sponsored by Fuck Your Mum, though, that he's got written on the side of those. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> High energy entrance here. It's Plenty of time to recover because he's got three more entrances to come. <laughs> yeah. So he can afford to put in the extra effort here. <laughs> if first Shawnee were drinking an energy drink, what would he got as a monster man? I think he'd definitely no, I think he'd definitely be Red Bull. Red Bull? Yeah, 100%. Sugar free Red Bull? No. No. <laughs> Full sugar. Got that distinctive taste. <laughs> but Here we Dave, go. Dave would be monster. Dave. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> can a monster while you tag in and have a go on his wife? All due respect. <laughs> Just a Jake Dave. <laughs> Cheap oldie version. Yeah. <laughs> 35p? I had a bottle Is of it something. still 35p? I had a bottle of something. It was really cheap. Blue bottle cold. from Sainsbury's. Yeah, maybe. It's... Nah, that's one pound. That's not cheap. No, I had one cheaper than that. Then I... It wasn't Sainsbury's. It was from opposite Sainsbury's. <laughs> Which doesn't help you. No, it's not at all. <laughs> it's like called the frozen food store or something stupid. Oh, farm foods or something. Yeah, farm foods. That's the one they changed it. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Coopland. Hey, look, Coopland's you! <laughs> and he's Dave! Now I'm sure I definitely don't get that. Dave. Yeah, Coopland, yeah, you don't get Coopland's. No, you're a cockney bastard, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he, coming out of the arena, it's Unseen Walker. He's not a cockney, he's a Scottish Mexican. <laughs> Scottish Mexican, he looks jacked. Still sponsored by Umbro. That's good to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get that pay on the side. No, Coupons are alright to be honest, but they're just they're just not as good as Greg's. <laughs> yep, the uh, ginger, ginger wrestler. He's, He's fucking Jack. <laughs> God, I can't remember how that went. It was just like that. Oh, mate, I don't take no fucking boys. What do you know the about boys? Ginger Slayer. Oh, fuck, mate. You take boys? Jack. You seem to know a lot about them, mate. Fuck off. <laughs> Scuro's there. Uh, Night off tonight, so next best thing. <laughs> Wasn't Couldn't available. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Repeat that a few more times, and here I am. <laughs> We've got a bottom of the barrel, help me. 
<laughs> but well, hey. basically, I have to have to make an appearance. You know, I don't get paid if I don't do work, <laughs> apparently. So, <laughs> you know, just that the ICU. <laughs> Flattened seagull, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God no, I don't mention making him a mod. Well, it should be done. Let's be honest. Though. <laughs> oh shit, it's Kelsey. <laughs> I think oh, Kelsey would be all, <laughs> all jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew, <laughs> the connoisseur. Hard to get in England, um, but he may, he finds a way. He's got contacts down at the port. <laughs> Probably hangs around outside the American Air Force bases. <laughs> <laughs> Catches the American sailors as they come off the boat in Portsmouth. <laughs> oh yeah, Mountain Dew is stolen from the kids that he beats. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, that's it, yeah. He makes, he makes his, he has his dojo full of 14 year olds and he kicks the shit out <laughs> of on a regular basis. Mountain Dew, no coach, no! <laughs> now he'd be four loco actually, wouldn't he? Fucking calcium. <coughs> <coughs> oh god, I'm dying. It's okay. The show will go on. Here we go, but he's ready here. Oh, and Kelsey him off to a great start there. Nice little uh, drop kick. Or whatever call it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, had, I died coughing then. <laughs> Help is to the Jeff to be what the Joey spin off was to friends. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen the Joey spin off. I can only assume it was really good. <laughs> it was the worst thing you've ever seen. But worse than friends. <laughs> yeah, a lot worse than friends. This is wow. Elp Meme Kingslayer. Help me who was uh, smashed in the electrical box last yep. week. <laughs> well, not even last week, was it just a few days ago? Yeah, it was just a few days ago. Um, work miracles in the American medical model if you've got the money, but we won't talk about that too much. But JFW looking after me, so that's <laughs> great. Oh, oh wow, look at that. That was a weird move from Calcium. Bit of a taunt here. Oh yeah, yeah, he's not going to be able to work too much. Calcium on standby. So <laughs> Number three speed on you don't so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, what a move by Shawnee and he's got the yep, not the he's first got the rope option <laughs> leg here. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's an interesting play, the rope's a bit floppy there. That's all sorted there. Calcium rolling around outside the ring. He's just giving the invisible man a blowjob. Oh yep. That's and he's finished. One. He's got, got it in his eye. This is where wearing glasses to the ring. Bit of an advantage if you can do it. You see their um, unseen walkers only 50% potential vision. <laughs> That's true. Not, not. I get to. Oh wow, Dave's got some ladders out. Oh no, not the ladder. Surely not too happy of that, but he just can't seem to hit. <laughs> oh, he smashed him. Takes the ladder yet. Are you on a delay I here? Well, I, met, I started watching a stream, didn't I? I'm, I'm an idiot. Don't worry <laughs> about that. Amateur. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, my bad. Sorry guys. Sorry. Oh shit, yeah, this is Blitzpit Qualifier Ring Match, of course. Uh, Unseen and Calcium both had both took dwarves to the uh, Blitzpit Qualifier. Unseen qualified, and that you will be in that this weekend, Blitzpit. I shall be casting lots of games. Fantastic. Be glorious. Is it a one minute tournament? So, what's does this happen every week or yeah, what's that happens, all about? It happens less than once a month, I think. Oh, that was only one a couple of days ago, wasn't it? No, that was the qualifiers. Oh, okay. All right. Which Unseen won his qualifier, which is how he okay. threw the main event. <coughs> some people qualified because they were good, and some people qualified because the uh, Blitz Pit uh, patrons chose them. Oh, so there you go. there's a patron in a bit better. There is, yes. Oh, that's a high tier supporting man. Yes, it's, uh, that's how they get the prize money and everything. Very, very, all very uh, professional outfit it is, the old Blitz Pit. Hello, Ansi. Probably the premier Blood Bowl 2 tournament, isn't it? It certainly, <laughs> certainly ranks above CCL and Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, before the Rebel Admins come in, it's it's worth noting that Rebel is an eternal league, uh, not to be confused with a tournament. But they do have tournaments. And uh, Rebel has a playoff as well, so you know they have they have a tournament at the end of their at the end of their season. But, uh, Oh, here we go, look at the kick from Calcium. Boosh! Oh, oh, oh. Not, to, not to ruin uh, Calcium's moment there, but when you say the end of their season... Yep. We're talking years? <laughs> 13 weeks. They have, they have like, uh, they have 14 man divisions. They do a 13 man round robin. And then after all of the, like, millions of divisions have done that, they have a, they have a massive playoff. Oh, I'm seeing Walker kicking out there of the thing. I was just making a joke about how long Rebel matches take. Right, I get it. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Got a bit of action outside the ring here, Dave. Uh, Shawnee off screen a little bit there. Yeah. Uh, it's back with us. He's got the man bun. It's... Oh, he's getting tossed off though by Dave. Dave tossing him off like a... Just handled him. Handling him really well. Someone bleeding unseen walker there, cut open by Calcium. Oh wow, Calcium's really teeing off with unseen here. He's getting revenge for his blitz pit. He is, yeah, he's not too happy about the way that went down. <laughs> but not enough to get unseen out. Not yet. But there's uh, Dave's. He probably the... hides a can of links in there, Tom. <laughs> Definitely a can of links. <laughs> Big Dave slam there. Dave dominating Shawnee. Oh god, look at that move from Calcium, it was shit. But it looked like it could have been good. <laughs> it's the hope, isn't it? And the fans live for the hope, really. <laughs> yeah, they got the top rope, you think, oh wow, that was a cool one. Oh. Yeah, that was. It was also somewhat brutal, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Try try to calm down a bit, please, Kingslayer. <laughs> the scare oh, J5 off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try to calm down a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. That is a lot of asses, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Calcium uh, running in here for the pin. Two. Oof. Ah, I'm seen still not. Still not having it. Yeah. So the walls for this match, do you have to pin them inside the ring or outside works? Oh yeah, that's got to be it. They've got to pin in the ring, but there is, it is extreme rules. So there you go. Two kicks to the head of Unseen. He couldn't take the second one. And Calcium has eliminated him. Revenge for Blitzbit. That itself proof that there is no head day at the gym. Get as jacked as you want. <laughs> you can't do anything to... Oh, what's the word? It would be... Build resistance? No, not build on resistance. On your chin? I don't know, like, you know what I mean? Trying to think of making your forehead stronger, but you can't. You can build it, you can make your forehead stronger. You can uh, get shot repeatedly in the head, and uh, right. you will build up bullet resistance in the forehead. <laughs> Calcium there, stealing in for the pin after the big Dave slam. Um, yeah, he was taking some time to work himself up to manhandle Calcium here. <laughs> Maybe Lonzo the Great, but um, there's the sign-up sheet. There are a few slots open, but it depends on... Uh, it depends helps on... if you sub. <laughs> yeah. It Just saying. It does help on uh, that sort of thing, and also how easy they are to make, and how much I want to make them, <laughs> basically. I think Dave's got Calcium's measure here, to be honest with you. Calcium's knocked two people out, but you don't often see someone knock all, all three of their opponents out in these matches. No, well, I mean, Dave, to be fair, Dave got the victory. Dave eliminated Sean, he hit him with two big Dave slams. Although, although, Sean, although uh, Calcium got the three count, it was, oh my god, it was all Dave's work. And look at that, spear in the table. This could be it for Calcium. It's looking like a, no, Calcium, a bit of resilience there. Unbelievable. Table. Table, table, table. <laughs> <laughs> We've all watched police interceptors. <laughs> taser, taser. Oh. oh, here we go. Dave's stumbling there. 
Allowed calcium and opening. The <laughs> most fertile man in the GFW, absolutely. <laughs> Check it out one day and see. Oof. Is Calcium just won it with that? Nope. Oh, very close there. One thing in these extreme rules matches, Calcium does have the low blow, and that can turn a match on its on its head or balls in an instant. Yeah, we've seen that used to great effect in many matches. <laughs> yeah. Calcium there. Uh, very good. <laughs> Handling the ball sack. Rock hard today. <laughs> yep, so Dave is a bit cut. old. <laughs> Calcium's usual level 14 year old opponents. That's where he excels. <laughs> <laughs> Not very nice. <laughs> oh, what a right hand. Putting him down there, not not rushing in for the pin, just taking some time to compose himself. Nope, he's Ooh. ready to hit him with a big Dave slam. <laughs> that could be it. Looks. It is! It is it, Dave taking a win there. Fantastic job. Dave! <laughs> Unbelievable. He looks ecstatic. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Although he's covered in blood. <laughs> Underneath his just mask. a little bit of blood. Some tears. <laughs> and some tears. And some semen. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I wasn't sure. <laughs> didn't want to didn't wanna push too far, you know? God. You made, me, you made me say it was even worse. Well, you know, it's, it's up to you. You say what you want to say. It's that. was the natural thing after blood and tears. Right, oh. any <laughs> next match. <laughs> We've got Just Joe versus Muppet Pac-Man. These two were the final two in the Fatal 4-Way Extreme Elimination on Friday, and now they've got themselves a 1v1 match to be the absolute number one contender for the Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship. What do you think of this one, Elp? I think it's going to be a real firehouse barnstorm, a barn burner. <laughs> You know, just insert fire-based metaphor here because of Just Joe. No, I think it's going to be a good match, all in all. Not seen Muppet, Muppet Pac-Man in a while, personally. I, I missed the last show, yeah, my injury. Um, yeah, I think this could be really good. To see if Joe continues his climb. He's been doing quite well for himself, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been doing pretty great. I am in the top 1%. <laughs> here is Joe. <laughs> what a face. Oh, he's no longer got the mighty F there. He is just Joe. Just Joe, but... That face. He does look a bit rugged, doesn't he? <laughs> does this Rough like and ready fireman you want carrying you out. <laughs> oh, Not so much a grin, but you can look past that, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I feel like this should be an emote. The joy, the joy emote. <laughs> Just his face and his fireman helmet. <laughs> Brilliant. Big hands there, Joe. <laughs> Big hands? Yeah. yeah it's, I think it's close up on them. <laughs> there you go, you see? Look at those fucking huge hands. <laughs> well, we'll see how that pays off for him. Not skipping hand day. <laughs> it's like his little visor can't actually go over his eyes as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's not designed to be functional, it's just a prop for an entrance in a wrestling match. Well, you know how much money is it really to get a second hand one off eBay? You 
Yeah, maybe it's health and safety. I mean, not in the JFW, but you know. <laughs> so, uh, probably uh, Styrofoam. Maybe. Exactly. Styrofoam? Answer. Not Styrofoam. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> this is an entrance. It is. One of the best entrances in JFW, one of the best entrance musics. Is you wonder where he's got that twin hand action from though, that's some great coordination there. <laughs> and just out wide enough as well, but you can imagine two people. Yes, you're seeing he looks train. like he's wanking off two guys. I am, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. It's uh, it's not the Gilberg entrance, it's, uh, it's what's he called? Uh, the guy, Otis. Otis. One Canadian, oh man, yeah. Shawnee flashlights. Here we go, Joe's got go a whole foot yourself. on his head. But. <laughs> Imagine Ooh. if you just won instantly. Oh, wow, the power of the power of Joe, just forcing Muppet back into the corner. Pretty the ref getting in here, prizing the two men apart. <laughs> Bet you'd love to have his job. <laughs> I probably wouldn't get electrocuted. <laughs> That's true. Only probably though. <laughs> <laughs> Only probably. It should get me doing guest ref spots. If only we could. I mean, maybe there's like oh. some way you can do it with mods, but it's it's shit that you can't have guest refs, isn't it? Like that's been a basic function of wrestling games for years. Yeah, that's one of those things that you assume is. Is there? Strange. Mm. Really strange. Yeah, it's tragic. I mean, we would have had loads of guest ref things if we could have done. Didn't guest ref come before having people ringside? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Old Muppet Pac Man here saluting the crowd. Joe scrambling to his feet. Back down again. Oof, the old stamp to the dick. Classic move. It is, yeah. Joe's about a foot taller than Muppet. <laughs> he is a full head taller. Oh, what's this? Oh, a counter. It's, uh, it is. Yeah, it's a counter. Great counter there from Joe. Joe, a naturally hairy person, does shave himself as part of his part of his job. <laughs> is that is that true? <laughs> Shaves his back and I would imagine so if I were <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Matches swinging momentum here. Oh, Pac Man having none of that. No, Muppet, of course, quite a hairy man. I mean, well, they're both is, hairy yeah. men. It's just that it's just that Joe has to wax. Joe does wax, yeah. <laughs> Often see him in <coughs> Triple H's room. <laughs> A nice taunt there from Muppet. Oh, and not a nice taunt. I wouldn't like the potentially ingrown hairs. <laughs> Doesn't strike me as a fun time at all. Yeah, <laughs> the last thing you need, not only do they add weight, but Pews will keep the fire going if it were to catch. <laughs> it would go up like kindling. Oh, look at that! Oh, it was what a fantastic move there from Joe, he didn't it. <laughs> He's got him! No! <laughs> He's beating himself off there, very unhappy with that. Oh dear. I'm wondering what he's got to do to put Pac-Man away. Muppet. I should call him Muppet, shouldn't I? Trademark, something like that. Yeah, yeah, but we should just call him Muppet, yeah. yeah. Joe assuming the position, and is back up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Muppet laying a mate there. <laughs> Very good, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we just got a fantastic tweet from a humorous chimp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. 
I was thinking about having Peggers on his back instead of just, but I thought just Joe's better than Probably Peggers. Probably ask him. Yeah, maybe ask him. Yeah, because he might not want... I mean, I if I got on Twitch and I say stuff about me, I expect it to be used as jokes, but Joe may not like it. I think he will. But then what if his, what if people he works with sees it, then he might get a sack <laughs> <as> well. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> I mean, JFW's worldwide. Here we go, 619. Oh, the 619. Fantastic move there, popularised by Rey Mysterio. I've never heard of that guy. This was popularised by Muppet Pac-Man. And there is the snake, not the worm, popularised by somebody else. That's the snake, popularised by Muppet Pac-Man. That's the JFW. Oh. Those are both what look to be very iconic moves for one person to create both of them. Incredible. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Truly, truly a testament for, to Muppet's skill and ingenuity in the squared circle. <laughs> yeah. It's a real cunning individual. Yeah. Oh, God, look at oh. that. Man. Devastating. Yeah, really putting some pressure on the head of Pac Man there, Muppet. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, and see, it's just that it's, uh, it's just that there's not, there's often not enough space to do it, so he very rarely does the hop. <laughs> when he saw him in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> just a joke, mate, just a joke. We do it with all the new guys. <laughs> Oof. Do we have a double count out? Let's hope not. Oh my god, what a what a devastating move from Muppet. He just dropped. Just dropped uh Fucking fire wanker Joe, didn't he? Big time. Can't pick him up though. He too can't, big. no. Far too big. Joe shoving him in the ring but staying out himself. Nope, he's in. Here, <laughs> 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 I can't do a northern voice. Jimmy, do your voice. Here, <laughs> chuck some beat on that. <laughs> Don't mind the burn. Do it in the northern. <laughs> I can't. I can't speak northern. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I've not done that accent in a while. Now I'm Berlin. Oh god. Oh, it's another six one nine. Ref, trying not to get in the way there, but you did a great job of it. Oh, what a glorious oh. move! It is a glorious move. <coughs> is this the end for Joe? Looks like it might be the end for Muppet. May not have had enough energy drinks on the way in. <laughs> yep. Not getting it done. You like the old... Is it Boost? Is is Boost? No, that's a... That's a chocolate bar, yeah. That's a chocolate bar. I don't that's know what the Tesco one's called. Sainsbury's is Blue Bolt. I don't know what the Yazda one's called. Yeah, I don't know what any of the other supermarket ones are called. Uh, there is an energy drink boost, so... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's the a chocolate one. bar as well, isn't it? The, um... Yeah, that's pretty the cheap. caramel thing. That's pretty cheap boost. How much? Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Because I recognised it, so it's, it's pretty cheap. <laughs> <laughs> you spend all your money on investment in the wrestlers. <laughs> Never mind the finer pleasures of good quality food. <laughs> the end of the day, when you when you need when you need uh, when you need energy drinks, like they all taste like shit anyway. I think so. We might as well get the cheapest. Reason, reason. <laughs> Indeed, chimp. <Jim>, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, twist of fate. Oh, Here we go. Gym juice would be the uh, would be the energy drink. Energy oh there. god, look at that knee. Well, absolutely oh, brutal. And now he's got up the top rope as well. Oh, this flurry could win it for Joe here. Yeah, it's Rick Promson, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, oh, he got the knees up. Yeah. Oh, sick. 
Muppet not happy about being made to bleed his own blood. <laughs> Incredible feat of strength there for Muppet. Yeah, I'm not sure Fire Bank is equipped to deal with a rope burn, but <laughs> I'm seeing the locker room. <laughs> and here's the third 619. Oh boy. Relentless Origin Chimp, it's quite nice. Red Bull's nice as well. On occasion, I've not had one in a while. <laughs> oh, and he goes oh, for the oh. frog splash! And Joe Showing gets that the Joe missile. indeed is a quick learner. Oh, twist of fate, this is it, this has got to be it. Without a doubt, this is it. No! <laughs> My god! Muppet is just, is just unbeatable, pretty much, isn't he? He's doing a, doing a good job of showing that. Oh, we've got the other camera hit. Oh, big move there from Joe. Huge DDT. Oh, whoop, he's getting a bit lost. Okay, this looks more hittable. If he got to the other corner, I don't think you'd have made this. <laughs> oh, nails it. Indeed. This is it. This is it. Curtain's closed for Muppet. No! No! <laughs> Counting about too early again. God. Yeah, like especially if your you, your knees is like offset bezel as well, and they spread open. <laughs> yeah. Be it, fucked. Is bit, it is a bit daft, isn't it? But you know, wrestling never made a lot of sense. Like, like look at the tombstone power driver, isn't it? Like that. That's just scary horrendous. Movies. How much weight comes down on your knees. That's why you use the your opponent's head. <laughs> yeah, Joe tied himself up walking over the corner. Oh, look at it. Oh, it wasn't a counter. Oh, it was. It was a counter, yeah. That's an unorthodox counter. It was, yeah, I expected the power. Joe happy himself, man. get his fingers out there. <laughs> oh, baby. Ready to show Muppet a good time. <laughs> it's the Feynman Slam. Oh, but that's counted. Into a scorpion death drop, oh my god. Beautiful counter there. And the fourth 619 of the match. <laughs> Just the new night demon. <laughs> Muppet's always been like this to be fair, he's always done millions of 619s. Well, if you invent a move, you want people to see it. <laughs> exactly. Now he's going for the frog splash that he also invented, not Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> Look at that, what a beautiful frog splash. That's gotta be it. Giving Joe high fives there just to console him on his loss. <laughs> Your winner is Muppet Pac-Man. What a performance from Muppet. He took everything Joe could throw at him and just kicked out of it all, came back, nailed him with four, four uh, six oh, nice, on nines. Yeah. And a glorious victory for Muppet Pac-Man. Do you find it hard to do a really hype talking bit? It seems like a very American thing to do. Yeah, it's very, very hype. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Goliath, for the glorious raid. Outstanding. Thank you very, very much. It is, um, Brain on Slugs there. Muppet spoke backstage about that before. He uh, was shown a few chicks with Veet. <laughs> Now to see them fighting, you wouldn't know that they were such close friends, but... <laughs> yep. Anyway... Uh... <laughs> right, up next we've got hot tag team action. We've got the the veterans dressed for business who've been around for ages, Lemon is Good and Fan Fox, up against the new team on the block, to Scotty and Nancy. They still don't have a name yet, or an entrance together, but, you know, they've both or got contract. great... Oh, contract, yeah, Ansi not actually employed by the JFW still, despite being the Plim Plum Plusaway champion. So, you know, Working maybe if, if he gets a contract, maybe they'll get an entrance together and, uh, <laughs> and a name. But until then, it's just De Scotty and some dickhead who doesn't, <laughs> who doesn't work for the JFW. <laughs> but what a good-looking dickhead. No one can carry off shorts and, uh, <laughs> and uh, whatever it is, a shell suit. <laughs> Did you make him based around the uh, Danny Dyer dress? Uh, what is it, the business? business yes, that's account? absolutely correct. Yeah. Yes. That's fantastic. It's a good look. It's a good look. <laughs> Tied out too soon. 
<laughs> did, didn't it? Here we go. Your crowd erupting here. Getting ready for whoever this is. <laughs> it's a dress for business. How do you not know? Oh, it's dress for business. No, I don't know. Not these shitters. <laughs> All due respect. Lemon. Glorious. Yeah, they they sort of faded into irrelevancy over the last few weeks, but making a run back at things now it seems. <laughs> yeah. Obviously speaking from my own perspective of being one half of the fantastic tag team that never really got to see the light of day. Easy. Hey there, you you got a chance. Can't ask for more than that. I really can't. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> oh, Would you count his pecs as part of the pack? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at how well we'll, well we'll get another close up on him. I'm sure. Here we are, the Scotty on his way to the ring. Not accompanied by Ansi, as you said. No entrance for the pair of them. It's a glorious entrance for the Scotty. It, it, it's for a big guy. He knows how to move it. It looks like he's wearing a. Was it Mary Jane's? You know, little shoes? Girls wear? With the. Pumps! Pumps! I don't know what we call them here. Oh, dear. <laughs> That's true, Goliath. That's true. Of course, Ansi having to. wipe the Scotty down with a Kleenex before coming to the ring. The black light is on. <laughs> Oh, here we go. <laughs> Truly, uh, like seeing a, uh, a whale jump out of the water. Just magnificent in its own right. The sheer size. Incredible. <laughs> we go, Antti on his way. People in the crowd don't look too happy. No, can't blame him. Oh, he's got his belt though, hasn't he? That's probably why he's not decided on entrance yet. He wants to wear his belt to the ring. <laughs> Ansi there, despite his appearance, clearly a fan of metal. <laughs> yeah. The devil's horns. And he is the Plimpon Plusway champion. I wonder if Lemon or uh, Fanfox have got ambitions of winning that off him, and that's why they've uh, that's why we've got this match, or if it's just a random match, or if it's uh, if he's thinking of doing a full-time tag team with the Scotty. Who knows? I suppose we have to see how it goes. Results-based thinking, of course, the best kind of thinking you can do. If they win here, yeah, without a doubt, tag team. We'll see. If they lose, well, one of them doesn't have a contract. I may not see any more appearances. <laughs> Ask to leave the belt at the edge of the ring. <laughs> Put it in the bin on the way out. Going for the... Yes, yeah. <laughs> Rumour has it the belt. The gold stuff you see on the belt there are the uh, remnants of the chocolate coins you get at Christmas. And it's just a showing of Jim McMahon's disdain for the Plim Plom Blueser 8 division. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his pecs are very small, aren't they? Yeah, you see, it just. <laughs> do, you, do you see what I mean? Yeah, it's almost just like an aid yeah. pack. <laughs> Rather yeah. than a six pack and packs, yeah. Hello, Ducky. Uh, Skuro's in New York for a wedding, so there you go. New York! That wasn't very good. <laughs> that was terrible. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lemon there, showing as a professor of physics. Using just got his own weight against him, and of course his own knee. Yep. Begging him to get up here. But he has no problems kicking a downed opponent, so... <laughs> just for cameras, just for the cameras. The Scotty had enough maybe. gas already! <laughs> gas already up. between the entrance and uh, <laughs> the 10 seconds in the ring, he's out of energy. <laughs> 
And it's your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, table leg. Oh, I thought he just won there instantly. <laughs> Indeed, no different. Oh, beautiful suplex. Van Fox screaming for the tag, and Z just doesn't know what day of the week it is. <laughs> <laughs> what, mate, I don't take the fucking roids. What do you know about roids? What the fuck, mate? You take roids? Fan you seem no ready to go. Mate. You <laughs> can buy those, uh. Little head things he's wearing from the gift shop. <laughs> yeah, he's Fan Fox. He's a fox. Fan Fox. Just another furry. <laughs> a despicable furry. Well, we do catch a lot of hate in uh, JFW. Uh, of course, I'm not a furry. Birds don't have fur. I've got feathers. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Do chimps have fur? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, I, maybe it's hair. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Is it hair? Uh, oh, yeah, I answered with such so, so quickly as well. Humans have fur. <laughs> we do, yeah. Is it a hairy and a feathery? <laughs> no furries at all. <laughs> it could be. I've just been getting a lot of hate for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, Anti here with the reversal. Putting Fan Fox on his back. Will Anti get on top of him? No, he's going for another move. Dragging him over to the Scotty. To Scotty, not, not, you know, he's, he's, maybe he's got a citrus allergy. And he's, he's oh. <laughs> scared of Lemon. He's got yes. no qualms about going in against Fan Fox. Well, what it is, is uh, the smell of citrus often goes hand in hand with hard work. If you ever cleaned your house, you know, you'll be familiar. You know, you get spraying that flash, other brands are available. And the odor hits you. It's enough to bring out a great man into sweat. Oh, oh, God. Look at that package power driver. That is glorious. That was a move, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Antsy there, knowing. Uh, just got you almost ready to tag out. Fan Fox, and Fan Fox not letting him. <laughs> Saying, <laughs> no big fella, you got to put in some screen time here. <laughs> oh, there's the yep, and tag. there's the tag, yep. It's good strategy though, plenty of tags. Maybe not wasting energy by doing kip-ups when you weigh £300, but hey. <laughs> oh, look at that dirty move from Nancy. Ref standing there, bewildered. That's the way I'm saying. <laughs> Just unconcerned as well. <laughs> but working on a carpal tunnel here. Fan Fox, obviously a game. <laughs> plays with his right hand. Not going to be doing much of that. <laughs> Can you discover? Is this your build in real life, or not? I know that was the. Uh, I know. I know that you. Well, I don't know, but I assume. I assume that you're not. You don't actually look exactly like uh, Mike Ashley. <laughs> oh god, that's so good. I love the Mike Ashley face. <laughs> do you know who Mike Ashley is Elp? I do not, but I can Google him. Yeah, you should Google him. Mike Ashley. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> he's the old Newcastle owner, so you know he's a Newcastle fan. And Greg's fan. <laughs> Greg's truly is. If there's anything to you oh, know, look at the pin. Greg's. Look at that pin. Oh, showboating here, Antsy. Incredible. Didn't quite get it. It's, it's oh, he just kicks him in the fucking head, though. I'm oh my god, look at the suplex. There we go. Wow. Let's see, uh, getting ready to tee off here with whatever move it is that Antsy does. It's, uh. Um, Obviously, I could look at a wrestler's contract, but. Is that a backstabber? I don't know what that is. Oh, the die of death drop. Yeah, there you go. Lemon straight in, breaks up the pinning attempt, and he's straight over the rope. Before. So he built up some momentum there, but he was slow in the acceleration. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing, Seesaw. I mean, harsh, but also amazing. 
You have not seen much lemon in this uh, this match. Um, getting a tweet there from Steve Motti eighty three. Yeah, haven't seen a lot of lemon. Fanfox not tagging out to take a break, just standing there instead. <laughs> yep. An it's probably oh, it's probably because he had a he had a signature move and he did. Uh, it's the uh, huge did. spine buster into the fox bottom. Oh, fox bottom! That's got to be it. Unless the Scott is fast enough to break this up. He is. He is. Wow. Wow. He must have smelled Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anti dares is not a. Uh... Not the bulge you'd expect to see. He does, in fact, have a Greg sausage roll in his pocket. <laughs> he unzips his pocket at the most opportune times to lure the Scotty in the ring. <laughs> oh Hello, Ryan. Lemon is bitter. Very good. Oh my god, just dumps him on his head. Oh god, that is brutal. Nancy's done some devastating oh, yeah. moves this match. And he, he, yep, he stops Fan Fox tagging out. Great strategy. Yeah, it's great strategy. I thought he wasn't going to get that there, but the show bang. <laughs> oh! Kicked him to the face. Show bang again. The plim plom please, right? Tell me. That's not live. It's probably probably shouldn't have that move in the uh, in the game anymore, should they? Why? Topical. What happened? Nah, let's not talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck sake, oh wow, what a move. Does Scott is ready for his package power drive? He is, yeah, he's been building up for this all match. He's ready to get it, and does he land it? Boom. He oh, does indeed. Brutal. The uh, the ears there focusing the impact and the ah oh, oh, not there in time. Oh, but El pays for it with a massive DDT from Ansi. How old fucks are they yet? Oh wow! Having a rest on the outside of the ring. He was in for a couple of seconds. We we're talking about the sky's endurance. Lemon, on the other hand. <laughs> Another fox bottom. Oh boy. This time with this guy, has he done enough? Is Ansi gonna go and break it up or is he gonna Oh he just gets there in the middle? Oh nick of he takes the ref out instead of breaking it up. A questionable yeah. move. Hey, it works, doesn't it? It does. It shouldn't, but it does. <laughs> that was incredible. We don't talk about that chimp. Topical and uh, not not suitable for talking about. <laughs> not the shoulder breaker. Oh fuck off, with Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, the three amigos, Ferdinand, Shearer, and Espria. VAR has not made its way into the JFWC sub, so that's not a possibility. Oof. Broken up by Lemon there. <laughs> yeah, me neither, Chimp. I'll be back in a few moments. Nah, fuck Andy Cole. Not Andrew Cole as he's as he's called now. He? Oh what a what a uh, what a counter there. Another Fox Bottom, the third of the match. Unbelievable. Fan Fox has really been carrying this one, hasn't he? Lemon not even going in. Neither's Ansi. That's it. Wow. Unbelievable. Night Demon. Well, if Night Demon had been training him, those three Fox Bottoms would have happened in the first minute instead of taking about ten minutes. But yeah, incredible performance by Fan Fox. Absolutely carried Lemon there. <laughs> so 
So there you go, dress for business. Right back on top of things. But you know, we've got a uh, cock and ball torture that uh, actually. That was match four, wasn't it? Yeah. So next up, cock and ball torture, like cocky, beat Das Hats on his own, didn't he? So they've they've got a real good shout to be top contenders. And obviously, dress for business coming back. So next up, we've got a fallout from the Night of Champions match. Um, that that uh, fatal four-way for the wet uh, table elimination match ended up with Fault Force absolutely destroyed. Uh, you know, piss and blood for the whole match. PC just, you know, vindictive. Fault Force wasn't happy. He's demanded this match. He wants a bit of revenge in Extreme Rules. It's the big Han himself. He's been away for a while. He came back in winning that qualifier. Then, you know, falling short in the Wim Dope match. But, and getting brutally beaten. And now, he's out for some blood of not his own, but PC. There you go. Here is PC. <laughs> this is great. PC comes out with with his headband on, right? And then he pulls it down to wrestle. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> Alright, good night, Night Demon. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty spot on, isn't it, Shawnee? Pretty pretty spot on. If only we could give him Boom Shake Shake the Room. Oh, maybe I'll get that fucking mod to have custom music. You get copy stricken from Twitch. You get copy stricken from YouTube anyway. Motherfuckers. Even though you're playing the game with the music in it? Yeah, honestly, you get oh. all the music. Oh, baby. Moment of silence while this magnificent specimen makes his way to the ring. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Who won the uh, the match? Uh, it was Dress for Business. Damn. <laughs> Guess we won't be seeing uh, a name for the Scotty and Nancy then. Maybe not. Watch this space. I'll watch that space all day. <laughs> the boiled egg himself. Big ham. Someone with a lot of bondage gear he is. Pretty light skinned. There's no marks. <laughs> Strange. Yeah, he's very light skinned. He doesn't get out much. He's kept in he's kept in uh, K Fog's basement, I think. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously Purple Chess not aware of who his opponent is. <laughs> He goes straight towards him though and takes him down. Yeah, he's got the, the hearing of a bat. <laughs> yeah, and now from the amount of grease on his arm, I'm sure he's worked out who it is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the smell of bacon grease. <laughs> it was enough to alert him. <laughs> now he's covered it all. <laughs> oh wow, Fault Force going straight for a weapon. Good on him. He's got the table! He's got the table! Oh, PC takes it off him though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, what a oh, move! Oh, wow. Coming in hard there, Fault Force. Very agile for a big man. Yeah, you do see a lot of that in a JFW. It's. It's funny, isn't it's pretty, it? Pretty good, it's funny, yeah. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Wang. <laughs> oh, dear. Homemade, probably. <laughs> you can get those chairs for quite cheap now, I'm told. <laughs> oh my god, I hope. Can't say that. I just did, Jimmy. <laughs> what is Suplex and Fofo's? Fofo's actually quietly pretty massive. Six foot seven. He's a, he's a bit of a monster. 
Oh, he was trying to, uh, he looks like he was going to mock PC with the acting taunt there. Oh, yeah. Sure enough, his, uh, his, uh, Hamlet. But PC, uh, took him down to Brown Town. Shakespeare, yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, six foot seven, quite short compared to Goliath and Table Leg. But there you go. And Gengar, of course, but he's not really a human. Yeah. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be the same if he was like a five foot eight Belgian dude, would it? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sneaky Castro. Oh, easy kick out from PC. Yeah, a bit of road to be going for pins here, but I think I think Fort Vos just likes lying on top of the man, so <laughs> any chance he gets. Well, PC too, as <laughs> you talk about that. PC's the same. <laughs> oh, a bit of acting. Look at that. There. there you go. Wonderful. But I leave me, Janine. <laughs> I can't do Barry's voice. You should get Barry in the JFW. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Big, uh, big choke slam. Ham slam, as he calls it. And now it's the Hamstone pile driver. Oh, God. Smashed him off his head. Is that it? Oh god, and the tea bag. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Bolt forces, of course, clean. All wrestlers in the JFW tested. <laughs> What's he clean for? Standard battery of uh, STI testing, you know? Alright. <laughs> so. All athletics does it. Yeah, well, especially blood, you know. <laughs> Can't be going home giving the wife something and uh, to explain it's because you're fighting another man. <laughs> He's got a bit messy. Oh, and there's a big choke slam from PC. Oh, a huge choke slam there. Mike <laughs> Dove flies again. And now it's a tombstone pile driver from PC. Oh, boy. Quick learner, PC, quick learner. Oh, and Full Force kicks oh. out of that. PC complaining the referee, but he was in the wrong direction. <laughs> you can't see him. Yes. The drawbacks of uh, of using such a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's covered in blood, he has been busted open by Fault Force, so Fault Force has got some measure of re revenge in this match at least. Yes, yeah. I'm going to be updating this headshot in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> nope. Oh, Ooh, a massive kick there. Big boot to the face. He might get the ball, no, he might not. Quite close, not even close. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, I thought that, Jim, yeah. <laughs> he's got him. Yeah. He's got him indeed. Fault Force, you win here. Making a return to the regular programming, it seems. We've seen Fault Force a couple of times recently, haven't we? Yeah. It's good to see him back. <laughs> he's running away from PC. Yeah, he doesn't want oh, to God, PC just laid out the roof. Well, you know, you can only go home too many times and say... You failed acting in this as well as everything else. <laughs> Holy Get the man down. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your main event. It is EAB and Robo Bezel up against uh, Rick Reckless and a mystery partner that he has chosen himself. So there you go. Who knows who that partner is going to be? It's going to be very exciting. Is it, uh, just looking down at the card here, I can, I know who it is and it's, it's <laughs> going to be a good one. Yeah, you can oh. also just look at the, you can also just look in the Discord <laughs> stream, Elf. 
your penis. <laughs> I don't know him. I don't. I don't know him. The card is so that you know it's a mystery opponent. You see, right? <laughs> and um... yes, yeah, so I know, but I don't know who the wrestler is on the screen. Ah, I don't know right. all the wrestlers. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah. You should. It will be revealed when he comes out. Nah. Yes. Robo Bezel, a, a, a glorious rare appearance from Robo Bezel. We love a bit of Robo Bezel. We do. I absolutely crowd favourites. There's no one to root for here apart from Robo Bezel and EAB. At least when Rick loses, he's going to take up Ral. <laughs> Loves a bit of adversity. Woo! <laughs> Woo! That's got to be Kane. Oh dear. Do we? Do we love Robo Bezel and EAB? Um, absolutely. Yeah, who doesn't love Bezel? Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't love this? <laughs> Bezel! <laughs> if I were getting made into a robot, that's not the appendage I would have chosen. <laughs> two perfectly good arms, two perfectly good legs. <laughs> Brilliant. So there's your answer for that, CSAPS. <laughs> oh, dear me. And now the most terrifying force in the JFW. Basically unbeatable. The only time he's lost was when he was uh, allegedly reprogrammed by Jimmy Fantastic. Well. Under orders from Jimmy Fantastic. Obviously, Jimmy couldn't fucking program anything. Couldn't work a microwave to heat up his protein shake. Exactly. Ah, oh, glorious girl. Quite revolting for that. There was definitely something nefarious when uh, EAB lost to a, a single leg Boston Crab. A devastating half crab. The move that beat EAB. I mean, that stunk, didn't it? Wasn't wasn't a good time for AB. It wasn't. Look at him, he's a marvel of modern engineering. Some say potentially dropped here by aliens. <laughs> the eighth wonder of the world. And the ninth. <laughs> and the ninth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, these two are a pair. You love to see them together. They had a brief venture into YouTube before their career here in the JFW. They did, yeah. Very, very good blood ball guys. And here's Rick Flip Me, guys. Woo! Always good to see Rick happy. Blood ball, Jesus. Oh man, I still haven't given him his fucking emotes. Oh, you want for the wrestler? Yeah, I was gonna put like the rest of the you know his emotes on his T-shirt and stuff somehow like you know flip me on on it or whatever. Does he even have flip me? So you've got like streamer dice or whatever, couldn't he on his on his top? BLG? <laughs> no. <laughs> got a tweet here from a, a humorous chimp. <laughs> yeah. Alleging that Rick is back, fresh back, from a bit of throat trouble. Yeah, he did have a bit of throat trouble. Uh, there's Dimmy G as well in the chat. Uh, right, who's his, who's his mystery partner? Here we go. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's Goliath. Oh, dear. Until he turns around and you see that it's a ginger. <laughs> Hopefully he's still around. I guess uh, Rick, you know, looking to take on EAB, decided he had to partner up with the biggest man in the JFW. And there he is. Whoa, that's what you need when taking on a giant robot. <laughs> Could be, but I am... I think the sweat from his body, that interrupting... EAB circuitry is probably the only chance they've got. <laughs> but I don't mean to be a naysayer, we're all here to watch a bit of entertainment and if EAB goes in there and does exactly what we expect them to do, puts them both down, 
it's not gonna be much fun. <laughs> oh my god, Turbo Lag. <laughs> Jesus. I can't comment on that, Turbo Lag. Jesus. Oh my god, yeah. EAB just wandering around. Ready to move. EAB taking up the shot and he's on the other side of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be just fucking ready to go. Get a bit of a three and one on him, and he's ready. <laughs> Hello, yeah, <EAB. laughs> Shaving armpits there, but hair everywhere else. Interesting. Yeah. It is interesting, why would you do that? Oh, Pretty oily, yep. Yeah. Yeah, fault Force. <laughs> Not as oily as Fault Force, but uh, you know, oily. No, but the, the canvas wasn't changed between matches. Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, it's a real. It's gonna be a real oily canvas now. Plywood underneath. Here we go, AB starting in the ring, uh, Bezel starting in the ring. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> <He> looks tiny. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, Rick not getting his hands on EAB yet. He's starting off with creator Bezel. Bezel no slouch in the ring as we can see here. Yeah, he's a, he's absolutely great competitor, is Bezor. <laughs> yeah, Bezor. It is pretty much a big man, little man challenge. Yeah, absolutely. And as big as Goliath is, he is he is not big compared to EAB. <laughs> oh yeah. Bit of showboating there. We don't have to see that from Rick. No, it's a uh, he, what he what he leaves in his he leaves it off the pitch when he when it comes to blood ball, but uh, he's quite the showboater in wrestling. Can't there are flashes of uh, there are flashes of wrestling Rick when he's when he's streaming. If you pay attention, you'll notice. Oh God, look at that! Look at the power oh, from EAB. So powerful, Rick couldn't even rest in the corner. He just bounced straight off. <laughs> <laughs> <Neat throw. laughs> that was some I didn't have Rick down as a man kiss meat frog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's called Shawnee a bastard. He's talked about killing chugs before. He he stuck his tongue out after he said something rude when his throat was bad. He's uh you know this He's a regular bad boy, a blood bowl bad boy. He's not as squeaky clean as his uh you know, as he's portrayed, I don't think. I think it's a bit of fire in his belly. You know, and he's going to need it uh, going up against EAB, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> EAB looking to make short work of Goliath here. The old crotch stomp. Humans are quite attached to their <laughs> crotches. EAB recognising that weakness and playing on it. Fwaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
<laughs> oh, look like at this one. like father. Oh, ho, ho. What a power slam. You haven't got authority that Bezel's spine is still a human spine, so <laughs> that really would have felt that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's bezel. It's robo bezel. bezel. Beautiful bezel. Bezel. <laughs> bezel. No. Okay, Rick just giving him the boots. So, bezel would be Wally, and the AB would be Eve. If you've seen. The Disney Pixar film, which is incredible. No. That's uh, <laughs> it's just good. Do you not like the Pixar films? No. Why not? No, I don't know. Oh, flip me, guys. There's a bit more to them than just being uh, little cartoons for kids. Not really. <laughs> like, maybe I'd have watched them if I was like five or something, but. It is, it's a great film. Oh wow. Rick is in trouble. <laughs> Bethel just sends him flying out. They're both outside the ring now. Oh, top rope specialist here, learning from Easy. Yes. Oh, oh amazing. Yeah, but you're not even concerned where his tag partner is, taking on two men at once. <laughs> This is a normal, normal Monday night for Bezel. Kicking the shit out of him. It's good to hear that, Mrs. Ray. Some really fucked opinions. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Wyatt. <laughs> I'm basically Next time you go round for dinner post-COVID, <laughs> you are watching Mrs. Wanger's choice of the Pixar films. <laughs> I've fallen in that trap before. One of my friends made me watch uh, Harry Potter, and it was Harry Potter um, shit. Don't worry about that fucking garbage. Yeah, yeah, fuck that that. Was yeah, fuck that shit. Oh, <laughs> well, here we go. It's time for the Rick Roll. Nah, Maybe Bezel's not. got his measure. Bezel's got his measure. Woo! Oh, Maybe not. What a maneuver! No, that's a fantastic maneuver. Thing is, EAB not very good in tag teams because he's so slow getting over the top rope like that. He is not the best in tags, is EAB. It's a hardware limitation there. <laughs> yeah. He is 7 foot 4 and 640 pounds. <laughs> he could <laughs> be a wanger. <laughs> that would be the, the final Oh Hey Wanger I did with the shocked. <gasps> Oh, hey, Ranger. <laughs> it was incredible. Wow. Oh, the single leg crab! Rick is just taunting EAB with a, uh, with a deadly half crab. <laughs> yeah, it was. But EAB doesn't display emotion in the way humans do. He's un unaffected by that. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, God, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, Rick, no! <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> He's not wearing anything on that Defiling ass. Defiling the face of Blood Bowl. There's <laughs> <laughs> going to extreme measures here. <laughs> on Monday Night Claw. Is it Monday? <laughs> yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> yeah, Monday Night Claw. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. And now it's time for the teabag driver. Oh, God. Fantastic move from Bezel here. Goliath in instantly to break it up. Noticing EAB's limitation now, yeah. Yeah. Only just got there in time. I mean, you can get there in time. Only just got there. Not Someday in time. night, Claw. <laughs> Here's another one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Goliath breaks it up. But EAB oh. fucking nuts him. That's taking Goliath out for a bit. Good chance for Bezor. Oh. Wow. 
the agility of Bezel here. Oh, wow. <laughs> Glorious. Half fuck machine, half man. Bezel's getting it done. <laughs> Did you say half fuck machine? Oh, yeah, his arm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god, he's doing it again! Oh god! Oh no, Rick, no! Poor Rick. Poor Rick. Oh, no. <laughs> he broke out himself. Well, I've got five minutes to kill. Five oh, minutes. Intensity Benza. free. Oh, AAB came in and wrecked Goliath. Oh, machine but learning working here. Bezel <laughs> training AAB to get in faster. But Rick just kicked out anyway. EAB gets Bezel. the tag. Oh Bezel my tag. god. Oh, that's Rick. Oh, that's Rick. <laughs> oh, and just smashes him again. 700 pounds of robot. EAB just annihilating Rick. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. Do you love seeing the AB in the ring? <laughs> You've got to love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, he's just trying to rip. Rip Rick's head off. Flip Leave me, my... guys. He took my head. <laughs> but not today. Oh god, look at that. Just flattening him. Oh, this is brutal. The AB learning there, but you need to work the crowd up sometimes. <laughs> yep. And also, you just need to beat the shit out of a motherfucker sometimes. Yep. Having the Hubri to challenge the ABs. Oh, here we go. That's it. Elbow no, right to the heart on to, of Rick. Yep, straight onto the sternum there. Goliath, and no there we have seen. it. Oh boy. And EAB pinning Rick, one, two, three in the middle of the ring. Rick's gonna have to do something special in between now and WrestleMania. That is gonna simply be not EAB. true. The data does not support your assertion. Hit the gym. <laughs> have a car accident, get turned into half robot like uh, Bezel there. Who Don't knows? see many options for Rick here. <laughs> Fantastic fight though. Absolutely gorgeous. You can't call it a fight, can you have to call it a match? Well, that's the, uh, that is the end of the, the night, so thank you very much, Elton. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for having me. Of course, and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.